Hello, we're joined here today by Murali Ranganathan, who works for Nokia, heading up their SON business product management. We're here to discuss SON uh, and automation. Yeah, SON, uh, or self-organizing networks, uh, has two parts to it. The first part is distributed SON, which runs in the radio, and it's provided generally by the radio vendors. And then you have a centralized portion that runs on the network management layer that looks across the network you know, on a wider scale so that it can optimize a large part of the network rather than just a single you know, B or single unit you know, B cell. Um, SON was defined by the standards, by 3GPP, and they had three aspects of SON that they had defined in the standards. The first aspect is called self-configuring uh, systems or self-configuring networks, which deals with automatic parameter management, automatic configuration of ENOBs you know, when they first come up in, in the air. And the second part is self-optimizing, which uh, deals with looking at key performance indicators or count PM counters. And based on that, we optimize certain network parameters so that the drop calls or you know, missing handovers, those type of issues in the network are rectified. The third part of SON is self-healing, which deals with uh, dealing with sick cells. So if a cell is, uh, sometimes it's called sleeping because uh, it's not responding to users that are trying to get, get onto the network. And so we recognize those patterns and those conditions and we try to recover that cell you know, that's determined to be sleeping. Um, so those are the three main aspects of SON as defined by the standards. Now, when you look at the different technologies that we deal with today, we have 2G, 3G, LTE, and we're talking about moving to 5G. Um, but 2G and 3G, we didn't have uh, techniques where you know, bees or these cells can communicate with each other. So we had to move the intelligence to an upper layer, which is the CSON or centralized SON layer, and all the functions happen at that layer. Whereas in LTE, uh, we were smart enough to create certain interfaces between these cells so that cells can talk to each other. So there is an element of distributed SON that became possible in LTE. And uh, But if you have to uh, optimize across technologies, today no network operator has just one technology. As you know, they have all their legacy technologies and they're adding LTE and 5G eventually. So if you have to cohesively work across all these technologies, then you have to move the intelligence higher up in the network. And that's where centralized zone comes into play. Nokia has a product called EdenNet, which is a centralized zone product. As a radio vendor, we do have functionality that resides in the radio, but centralized zone is all about understanding that there is functionality in the radio, recognizing there's value in adding additional intelligence on the centralized layer, and making the two work together holistically. That's what EdenNet does, and that's what it's great at. And how do you see SON as of today? Yeah, what we have as SON operating in our customers' networks today started back in 2012 uh, with the uh, uh, you know, leading operators such as KDDI who were forward-thinking and they decided at the time that uh, a network had to be continuously optimized in order to take on the challenges of introducing a new technology such as LTE and a new device experience such as the iPhone. Um, so, so when KDDI introduced the iPhone in 2012, they, say, they, they saw SON as an essential element of uh, uh, have keeping their net networks continuously, continuously optimized. And so they uh, introduced SON uh, to pr perform that role. And uh, we, we, Nokia delivered a centralized SON solution in 2012, about three months prior to their iPhone launch, and that was widely successful. And that con system continues to operate till today. Uh, the other aspect of uh, SON that we see today is uh, the wealth of use cases that we have. By use cases, I mean uh, functions that uh, manage the capacity and coverage of networks in an optimized manner, uh, dealing with handovers and making sure that when a user moves from one cell to another cell, he does not have a degraded experience, right? He does not drop a call, he, does, he doesn't have to re-attempt to you know, call somebody again. And those aspects of SON are uh, well covered today in the SON solutions that we've deployed. And the main, uh, a very important aspect of SON is the acceptance by operators. And uh, 2016 is the year where we see SON deployed in a mass manner. Um, a lot of the operators have uh, accepted SON as an essential part of their network operations. Um, and it has also won the trust of the operators. So this is an automated system. Uh, users uh, from our operators' networks are 
used to having control over the networks, which means they were manually changing things in the past, which took a lot of effort, <coughs> but they felt confident, confident at the end of the day that they knew what they were doing, it was the right thing to do. To trust software to replace them was, was, was a challenge. And today, um, the software we have through EdenNet has proven that it's reliable and customers have accepted it. And 2016 is going to be the defining year for SON because of the wide acceptance. And starting here uh, and moving on to the future, we've, we see that SON is established now and, and we have a lot of new opportunities coming up. The next area of focus for us is moving from network-wide optimization to per subscriber optimization, so we understand the experience of a particular individual subscriber and we optimize his experience and uh, we we'll make sure that uh, every user has the best possible you know, data experience or voice experience or messaging experience in the network. So you've spoken about where we are here today in 2016. Right. Where will we be in 2020? Yeah, so today SON has uh, proved its value in automating the network uh, as we know it today. And uh, most of the automation that we've offered today is basically automating the past as we see it. So uh, we've had tried and proven uh, ways of optimizing the network that network operators have used in the past. And we have automated that and that's working well. Where we see SON today is uh, def you know, a role that SON plays in defining the automation needs of the future. Right? So, and the network of the future is moving towards 5G and moving towards uh, uh, the networks are moving towards the cloud. And SON plays a role in making sure that uh, SON becomes the anchor in migrating the uh, networks to the cloud and to, fi and to 5G. We also see SON becoming the orchestrator. So there are different aspects of managing an end-to-end -end network. A part of it is the radio optimization, but there's also uh, an important element of optimization of the backhaul and the core network as well. And we need to orchestrate the type of automation that happens across all these layers. So we, we tend to call that end-to-end -end automation, uh, and, and that is something that will be fulfilled you know, between now and 2020. So what's your vision or dream for the future? My vision for the future is that with SON, there will be no more drop calls. There will be no more missed conversations because of that. Uh, all the messaging and communications that happen between loud ones and uh, people will continue interrupted. And then when we have uh, important conversations happening through voice or video, uh, that will remain disrupted. So there's no disruption in the experience that uh, users exp you know, have while using the mobile network or their smartphones. Uh, this is achieved through uh, you know, extreme automation as well as through some of the uh, self-learning techniques and artificial intelligence uh, type uh, applications that we will introduce and so on. And we also see a world where the human is freed from repetitive tasks, where uh, in order to operate a network, uh, nobody has to be watching a video screen all the time in order to make sure that the network is working you know, without a problem or without flaws. SON is there to take care of every little detail in making sure that the network uh, operates smoothly and gives every user, everything that's connected to the network, a uniform experience, independent of uh, you know, what type of application they're using or what time of day they're using the application. So that's our vision, to make sure that uh, you know, n n nobody has a different experience with the network you know, from time A to time B. They, they, they forget that they're communicating across an ocean or across long distances. We want to bring the experience where people, are, people communicate in a way that they think that they're talking to each other, standing in front of each other, like we are today, uh, rather than you know, a network separating them. So that's our vision, but so on. Thank you.